So welcome back to my channel. I am looking like a hot mess because we gotta get this hair back together and I'm very excited because this is about to be the first wash and go in the new house. Ah! I'm so excited. I have actually like not been this excited to do a wash and go in a really long time. So that's fun. Um, my hair is looking crazy because I just took out my island twist my boho twist, whatever you want to call it. Uh, last night, I just made an executive decision and I was like, you know what? I got to take these out. And my hair is just full of gel, like gel, gel. I tried my best to kind of <laughs> detangle it as much as possible. But as I got on, like I started from the back. So like these are nicely detangled and everything. But as I made my way to the front, I got more and more lazy. And like this has not been detangled at all. Um, I also have like clumps of gel at the front. So that's the reason why I usually like to like detangle. You see that? You see all that? It's like right at the root, a bunch of clumps of gel. Cause that's like, I guess how she gets the twist to stay. Oh my gosh, this is like a really big clump here. Like, look at this clump. It's not just like, like, look at that. Ooh! So, um, I don't know. I'm feeling like I kind of just want to go in to the shower. Like typically I would wet it all right now before I go in the shower, throw some conditioner in there and spend like an hour, not an hour, but like spend some time detangling it. So it's fully detangled before we jump into the shampoo step. But I don't know. I think because we did twist, she did a little extra product and I just feel like there's way too much product in here. I feel like we need to slap some shampoo so we can break up some of this product and then I think I may detangle with the shampoo. That could, could be bad. It could be bad. Um, I mean, hopefully not. <laughs> I really am just gonna have to take my time so I don't like rip my hair out. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do today is get this wash and go together. Do I wanna go for a side part today? Or do I want to do middle part with bangs? I think ideally I feel for my bangs, but also it's hot outside and I hate nothing more than sweating underneath my bangs. So um, love the look of the bangs, but not the practicality of the bangs. So side part is always like a safe option. Um, so we'll see, I don't know. I'm not gonna make a decision yet. I want to see and feel like how my hair is feeling in the shower and then we will go from there, I'm also excited because y'all, I got gifted, dun, dun, dun. it's kind of hard to see from this angle, but I was gifted this shower head. If you guys haven't heard of it, let me give you the deets. So it's called the Jolie Skin Co Shower Head. It's a filtered shower head and we love that because it's basically filtering all the water that comes out to make sure that you're getting fresh, clean, perfect water basically for your skin and for your hair, for your entire body. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I have used it a couple times, but not on my hair yet. So excited about that as well, exciting things all around. This is gonna be, oh my god, this is gonna be the first video. This is my new shower. Let me know what y'all think about this lighting. This is literally just my regular bathroom lighting. I don't have any additional lighting. Um, there's no windows in my bathroom, but I actually kind of like how it looks. So let me know what you think in the comments. We'll probably be playing around with this a little bit. Uh, let me show you this shower head though. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see, it's really actually hard to see in the camera. Maybe you can hear it. Like you can hear, mm, it's got such a good stream. Like I'm gonna insert some footage from my phone. I really love the shower head. I actually do think we should start with conditioner just to be on the safe side. So I'm grabbing this one from Not Your Mother's. It's from their Curl Definition line. Love this conditioner. It's a regular conditioner. It's not like the actual mask version. I'm really gonna try and like focus on these roots because that's really where the problem area is. We're definitely gonna need to section this out. Oh my gosh, just like touching my hair and doing this. Look at this. Like so much hair is coming out. I know it's like, Technically normal and stuff, but this is definitely my least favorite part about taking down a protective style. It's crazy. This is like, already when I was taking it out yesterday, it was so much hair. Anyways, the curls are already popping back into formation. So we love that. This is actually going a lot quicker and easier than I thought. 
Not too bad. What I will say is a lot more of my hair is falling out than expected. Look at this. Trigger warning if you don't like hair. Like what the heck? That is in addition to all this already and I haven't even done my full head of hair yet. Shedding after protective style like a big ball of hair is like normal, right? But like is this normal? Like, am I just not used to it because my hair's longer than it's been in a minute? I don't know, it just seems very excessive, but it's fine. We're not gonna stress. No, you guys, no. This can't be normal. Am I okay? Not me trying to calculate in my head, trying to see if this is 100 hairs a day for like the last three weeks. Is it? Today is Saturday. Wednesday would have made exactly three weeks. So do we call it two and a half? Is this, how many days is two and a half weeks? That's 14, let's call it 14 plus five. So 19. Does this look like 1900 hairs? Maybe, I don't know. I mean, I still have a lot of hair on my head, so it's fine. All right, time to dig into shampoo. Very excited to give my scalp a really nice deep cleanse, the best type of cleanse that it deserves. And so I decided to go in with my Briogeo Micro Exfoliating Charcoal Shampoo. I don't know if I mentioned these on here. I definitely shared these with you on Instagram, but y'all, they have jumbo 12 ounce tubes now and I'm actually obsessed with them. They're so good for the shower. They are my preference, 100%. Over the regular jar, absolutely. And you get a bunch more products in here too. We love. shampoo has my scalp feeling amazing oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh so good i literally feel like a minty tingle oh my oh my gosh it just feels like a hug for my scalp after three weeks in a protective style like oh my gosh that amazing i think we actually are gonna go full briogeo today because why not my hair deserves it and i feel like it's kind of fitting for my first like wash and go in the new house my favorite brand favorite product so for deep conditioner i'm going in with my number one fave briogeo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask y'all already know what time it is with this one i feel happy right now guys I think by buying this house, like, I've been able to kind of upgrade my environment a little bit and it is doing wonders for my mental health so far. I am just so happy, so excited. I literally go through the days every day and I just like, I'm like, thank you God. Just over and over again. Thank you God, thank you God, thank you God. It is a crazy, crazy feeling. Okay, I'm gonna stop here because the more that I brush, the more that it pulls hair out of my head. So we're gonna stop here. Ooh, I'm so excited to get into the rest of the shower. I'm gonna let this sit, finish up, and then we'll be back for styling. The curls are back, babe. They're back and they're popping. They look really nice and healthy. I'm happy, I'm proud of them. Okay, time to style. Like I said, I think we're gonna go the full Brio Geo route, so. I'm gonna grab my curl charisma gel. Should we do side part? Are we feeling that? Or do we bring the bangs back? Look at how long they've grown. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm just gonna style and once we get to the front is when I'm gonna decide whether or not we're doing a side part or bangs in the front. Cause I'm too Libra. I'm too Libra, I can't make a decision right now. Oh, uh, this just, the way this defines my curls, it's just so good every time. Like every freaking time. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that! Do y'all see this curl definition? I'm obsessed. We are done, y'all. All I need to do is go ahead and diffuse her. And that's it. Wait, so before we diffuse, I have been seeing people use like hairspray. It's summer and I wanna see if maybe this is gonna 
help this stay together. So I have the Fakai Clean Stylers. You guys know about this already. This is a Flexi Hold hairspray, and I'm thinking about like. Ugh, I don't know, I'm just hoping this doesn't like ruin the wash. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this like on top to see if this can give us like just a little bit of additional hold and protection from the humidity outside. I'm scared, but we're gonna do it. All right guys, it's day two and this is kind of how we woke up. How's that poppin'? And I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all because I've used this Brio Geo combo before and my curls always get it together every single time. So the hairspray addition was very interesting because I can definitely feel like additional holds just kind of sitting on top and I like that. Especially for the summer, I'm excited to kind of go outside. I'm going on the road today, so I'm excited to like go outside and kind of see how that does. Future Liz here, just jumping in to say, I actually am not a fan of using hairspray on wet curly hair. Um, I did get that extra bit of hold, but for some reason it made my hair feel very, very dry. And so therefore my curls were not as happy and therefore my wash and coat did not last me as long. And like I said, this is a typical product combination for me that is bomb com every time so i knew it was the hairspray that kind of like dried us out a little bit early so um yeah just jumping in to say i wouldn't do that again and wouldn't recommend it at least definitely not on wet hair um i do feel like a couple of hairs down here maybe need a snip the thing is i don't know where my scissors are look at how this is just yeah we just need to kind of even this out a little bit I don't know where my scissors are. Everything's still like all in boxes. It's still very kind of crazy over here. Um, I'm taking my time, you know? I rushed it to close on the house and everything. Um, and now I just want to like take a breather, take my time and do things slowly but surely, you know, like day by day, get things unpacked and stuff. And my office is something I'm really trying to take my time and not rush because I want to get it right. Anyways, that's a whole separate conversation uh, about the house. Um, I say all that to say, yes, my scissors are, my hair scissors are probably still in another box. So I'm just going to try and fluff this out just a little bit, not too much because guess what? I'm going to need this hair to last me for the rest of this week. But yeah, I am definitely feeling like some of these hairs got a chop. Yeah, guys, this is how our first wash in the new house came out. As beautiful as ever, and this is going to be obviously the first of many. I honestly just, from having this new environment, I am feeling so inspired, like re-inspired, re-motivated, and just so happy with my environment that just my mental health is flourishing right now. I'm very, very happy. Um, so I'm excited to kind of share more hair content, more lifestyle content, more home content, like all the fresh new content. That's basically about to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, I am probably going to spend the next like five minutes looking for my scissors because I can't, I can't, I can't. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch y'all right back here, same time, same place next week for another video. Bye!